I have written a book with the title Martinus, Darwin and Intelligent Design, a new theory of evolution. And the Danish philosopher Martinus, who lived from 1890 to 1981, has written a new cosmology. And I have tried to explain the relationship between the theory of Darwin to the theory of Martinus and also the theory of intelligent design to Martinus cosmology. I have a uh, scientific education. I've got a master's degree in chemical engineering and in biology from the University of Copenhagen. So I have been very interested in all about life and nature. And then my whole life I've studied the cosmology of Martinus. And I've also been interested in the theory about intelligent design. The basic difference between Darwin, natural science and Martinus is that Martinus thinks that there are certain eternal things in life. Martinus thinks that the energy exists eternally. Energy has never come up, energy has always existed, and the energy will always exist. But in the same way, the phenomenon of consciousness and life are also eternal. But natural science thinks life must have had a, a begin and must have an end. The universe must have had a, a begin and an end. But Martino thinks that life, consciousness, energy, and the I, the self of the living beings, are eternally existing. And that is sort of the beginning of the Martinus cosmology. And this means that you can collect the result of all your experiences, of all your talents. They can be stored in an eternal body, which is outside the physical body. Martinus thinks every time when you exercise, when you train, Every time when you make an experience, you have developed and the result is stored as a talent. If you want to be better at tennis or chess playing, how can you become better? By training and practice. But the training and practice is not wasted. It is stored in these talent kernels that are put into the eternal body that survives the dead of the physical body. So. That means that evolution takes place because of experiences. And uh, Martino thinks exactly like Darwin, that all evolution takes place gradually, continuously. So from that point of view, there is no difference between the Darwinism and Martino's cosmology. It is a, a continuous evolution. But Martino thinks that the main factor behind the evolution is the consciousness. The consciousness of the individual being, but also the consciousness of the living universe. And um, Martinus explains how we have gone through the whole Darwinistic evolution personally. We have made all the experiences ourselves. No experience is wasted in relation to the uh, evolution. But the Darwinist thinks that we have got a better brain because there was a mutation that gave a bigger brain. So that means if we want to develop our brain, we have to wait, sit down and wait some 5,000 years for a new mutation. But according to Martinus, the intelligence of mankind and of the individual improves because he's using his uh, intelligence. But Martinus also thinks there is intelligence in the universe. I have intelligent cells, I have an intelligent brain, the planet Earth have intelligence, My, mankind is sort of the brain of the planet Earth, the solar system has a, a, a brain in the Earth. So Martinus also thinks that the evolution is designed, it is planned, but how can you put this uh, intelligent design into praxis? And Martinus says, through gradual evolution. So, in a way, Darwin is right. The evolution is continuous. And the intelligent design, yes, the design, there is a design. They have been quarreling for 150 years since the publication of Darwin's book, The Origin of Species. 
How is it possible to have a discussion running for 150 years? I guess it is because both parts are right. Yes, the evolution is uh, gradually, continuously. And the other, yes, consciousness is the main factor in evolution. I would say that Darwinism and the theory of intelligent design, they only have fragments of the theory of evolution. But Martinus, he has described everything. So it shows they are both right, but you get a more complete picture. And I have described that in my book. I think uh, the book is about 300 pages. And I was so lucky that there was a Swedish publishing house, Wertspil Verlag, who has published the book. But now the book has also appeared in Amazon.com. And a few who has read my book said, yes, that's really a new theory of uh, evolution. So it shows what is right in natural science and it also shows the weak points uh, in uh, natural science. And it also shows the weak points in the religious attitude towards intelligent design. And it also shows the logical and uh, scientific sides of um, intelligent design. I feel I have a so-called life contract. I have had the possibility to study Martinus cosmology my whole life. My parents knew about it and I had my picture taken with Martinus when I was only 11 years old. So that was a fantastic chance I had to study the philosophy of Martinus my whole life. But I also had the chance to get a university education. And then I felt very privileged that I have had the possibility to be a Martinus lecturer through 25 or maybe 30 years I've had study groups. So when I have been explaining the cosmology in question periods and lectures for these some 30 years and had my scientific background, then I was mature for writing my book Martinus, Darwin and Intelligent Design. So now I'm satisfied and pleased with my life and in a way I'm ready to die. <laughs> that means I want to live <laughs> some more, but I feel that that, that was a very important thing in, in my life to publish this book and for that reason uh, uh, I, I'm very pleased and satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>